Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to build a professional looking WordPress web hosting website. So if you're working with us as a reseller, you might or might not want to use WHMCS as your full website. For example, on my example domain, billing.resellerhostingus.com, I've installed and set up WHMCS. And you can see they have a really nice templated system so customers can come in here and they can register their domain or they can buy their web hosting um, right inside of here. And they've got, again, it looks really good and it's um, mobile formatted. So if they're on their iPad or if they're on their phone, it works. But a lot of times some of our customers say, well, that's cool and all, but I want a little bit fancier looking of a website, something a little bit more customized to my brand, but I don't want to develop it from scratch either. Well, more so than often, we see people that they use WordPress because WordPress has hundreds of thousands of templates you can choose from for 20 to 50 to $100 to free. Um, and so you can get a more customized feel just so you're not, you don't create a website that looks like everyone else that uses WHMCS. Um, so this is what I recommend doing. Um, the first part of this, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and you might already know how to do that in your sleep, but I'm going to show you really quick how to do it on your reseller account and then I'll show you how to get and choose a template. So from our client area at Name Hero, you can log in, you click here and click log in if you're not and you'll be brought to right here. From this point on, you want to click on the cloud web hosting icon and then you want to select your package, your reseller hosting package. So mine is reseller um, hosting US, our corporate hero. Okay, so this is our um, dashboard for our hosting package. Now we want to install WordPress on our root domain. Our root domain is resellerhostingus.com. So we're going to do this inside of cPanel. So I'm going to click on login to cPanel right here on the right under actions. And this is where we're going to do it. So we can scroll down here to the bottom all the way to the bottom and WordPress should be the first thing you see under the apps installer. WordPress. If you don't know what WordPress is, you can read about it here. Um, you probably already know, but it's the most popular and widely used content management system in the world. It powers, they say over 60 million people, I think it's more than that. It powers like 28, 29% of the internet, maybe more than that even. Um, so very popular, good stuff. So click install now. All right, so let's just go through this. We're going to install this on our root domain. Now, I want it to have a secure certificate because remember, all websites at Name Hero have free and unlimited secure certificates. Google ranks you higher if you have one of these. That's why we have it free and included. So we're going to choose it here. Now, please ignore this. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the apps installer does not recognize Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is our provider for the SSL certificates. I don't know why it doesn't. I'm working with them to figure out that, but ignore that. Um, this is a false positive. Anyways, um, we can keep going here. So we're going to choose the domain, and you can see we've got our subdomain or main domain. We want it on our main. Now it's important to delete this WP because this will make sure it installs on their root domain. If we leave that WP, it's going to install it on our root domain slash WP. That's not a good experience. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to leave that blank. Now we're going to go down here and we can set up our site name. So we can set up um, whatever we want to call our web hosting company. So reseller, ours is reseller, whoops, hostingus.com. Um, best web hosting and you can go back and change this later I'm just going to enter some stuff okay so I like to use something different than admin use our gray 17 and I'm going to generate a secure password here don't recommend um, not doing that you know you want something really nice and secure so make sure that uh, you know you, you definitely want to do that because you don't want to use pass or password because you'll get hacked okay so from this point forward you can do your email and your language, English, and go down here. Now, if we want, we can select a theme from here. Um, there are some pre-installed ones here, but I don't, you know, I don't know if there's any hosting ones or not. Probably not. Yeah, there's not going to be one for web hosting in here. So that's fine. I'm going to show you where to get one. Um, I'm just going to install it with the default WordPress themes and not worry about these right here. Now, you might find one for your agency that looks good. Um, feel free to demo them if so. And you can, you know, <coughs> excuse me, and you can download them right from here. 
Uh, so you might see one that, that kind of fits what you're looking for. Um, but I'm going to specifically go through this here in this video. So I'm going to click install. And it just takes a few minutes. If you followed along with my WHMCS install video, you can see this app installer is pretty awesome. Okay, so now if we go to our root domain, we're going to see WordPress. And here's our awesome security certificate that it said we didn't have. Okay, so let's go into our administrative URL. And this is our WordPress dashboard. This is where we're going to build our site out, um, essentially. Now, if you want to have a nice professional template, go to Google. Boom. If we type in Google web hosting WordPress templates, you're going to see 2.8 million results. A lot. Um, so there's tons and tons and tons of themes. I'm just going to click on the top result, theme forest, and you can see we're not going to find a, there's going to be tons. So you can sort by newest items. I like to sort by best sellers so I can see what's looking good. Um, when you're looking for a WordPress theme, a professional one that you're going to use for your site, you want to look at a couple things. One, I like to look at the top sellers because I want to look at the ratings. And if it's only sold a couple units but has five stars, and I know only a couple people have reviewed it, the more sales and more ratings means the better the theme is. You want a theme that is frequently updated, a, a theme that is supported. So this one here looks good. You know, it's got 2,800 sales, 209 ratings, everyone's rating it top star. So let's click on it and take a look. And, you know, I'll, I'll spend a lot of times um, when I'm looking for a WordPress theme, I'll spend all, all day long, you know, looking on this. So this might be something you do an hour, and it might be something that takes you all day. And that's fine. You know, I, you should be, I encourage it to be picky, um, to find something that looks good for your site. So here you can click live preview. That's what I always jump to. And then I close this stupid frame out. So you can see there's a couple different themes from here. Um, there's even a color picker here. So there's a couple demos that you can go from. So let's just choose the main demo for this example. Oh, this looks pretty good. Click here, maybe change a color or two. Give it some purple. There we go. Man, that looks really good, doesn't it? So now you can build a nice professional looking site like this and um, make your site look like this. So you're just looking for the perfect theme. See how pretty this is? This looks really good. So it looks a lot better than just the defaults. Where's my WordPress or my WHMCS? It looks much better than this default, right? Your site, your customers are going to like coming here better than coming here. So you, while you can still use this for your back end so they can order, when they go to your site, they're going to see something that looks like this, something real nice and, and pretty. And you know, it really catches the eye. I really like this template, by the way. Good job to these people that made this. Um, so you can see, and when you sign up, when you click the sign up link, you can actually link to your WHMCS. So they go through the uh, billing system. Um, so I like this one. Um, if I was actually going to build a site, I would buy this one. This is really, really good. I mean, good job, guys. Wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so you can see, my gosh, I mean, you can spend a long time. I, mean, look, I wonder what they're coming soon looks like. You can spend a long time on this. Look at that. See, that's a great page right there just for your domain if you're launching. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Look, it's changing the background. Great. Really like this. Really, 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 really do. So you can see it's got all the information, um, you know, how to build your company. But, man, that is sharp. What a nice menu. Click on WordPress hosting. I'm sorry, I'm distracted because you know, I haven't seen one this good in a while. Um, but I, you know, this kind of reiterates just what I said. Um, you know, that, that why I like using WordPress. So this would be um, you know one I would choose for this. And so let's go back to ThemeForest and take a look. So we can see on ThemeForest here, and um, you can see it's got six months of support future updates, the quality's been checked, it's $64. That's a really, you know, it is a, it is 64 bucks. So some, you know, might be not want to, that might be a little expensive for you. Um, but really, you're going to get a really high quality site. Um, they have a demo here too. You can see they've got um, the client area for WHMCS. So I like this too, because it's going to actually customize your WHMCS. Let's just click it and look. So you can see, let's use purple again, um, that even the WHMCS pages are going to be customized. 
Um, so you, when your customers are going to log into their client area and stuff, um, they're actually going to be using this template as well. So mm -hmm. you know, through that, the whole thing throughout WHMCS will also be customized. Um, and they call this, the terminology of this is a WHMCS bridge, meaning it just merges everything in here. So, I mean, really cool, really, really cool stuff here. So everything flows together. Now, um, to do this, they have documentation. Because obviously at Name Hero, we can't support it. I mean, we didn't develop the theme. Even though this is a great theme, we can't support the whole thing. So after you buy it, they've got some documentation. Actually, I think they have the documentation on their front page. Where'd it go? Let's back all the way up into here. Oops, too far. So if we get on here, we can see online documentation and videos. Look, they've got all these. Look, they've got the WHMCS and this stuff. So if this is the one you choose to go with, um, then first you need to buy the theme. So I'll let you do that. And, um, and then you can go through all this. They've got the installation. Oh, no, their video is not working. Okay, well, it's easy. It's, look, there's, here's, the thing, here's the videos. So look, they've got step-by-step -step how to install it. And you would just follow these instructions. They've got a free install service. That's awesome. That's really, it's really cool they're doing that. Um, so if you don't want to install it, let them do it. That's what I would do. Just let them install it for you. And they've got their sample data. You know, and tell them to do all that for you. Look, they even tell you how to install WHMCS, which we've already done. Then they tell you how to do the plugin. And we can go on through all that. Um, that's great stuff. Right on. So you just follow this step by step. Now, I mean, you know, this is a little bit more complex. If you're a beginner and you're a newbie and you just want to start selling right now, you can just use WHMCS. Your site just looks like this. If you want it to look, you know, really feature rich, then just follow these directions. So we're just going from following one set of directions to the next. And again, you know, this might, this installing this WordPress theme, this is probably going to take a couple days. You know, it's probably not going to be done in a day. Um, you know, just take it step by step. They've got the option, though, to, to let them install it. So if you buy this theme, just let them install it and then go from there. I remember when I built out Name Hero originally several years ago, and it was one of my favorite things I've ever done, but it took about three months. When I st made the decision to start Name Hero to actually building it out, it took me a while um, from actually building the site out to getting the domain I wanted and all that. So, you know, that's part of startups. It's part of building your own business is really, you know, diving in and getting it set up, um, you know, to your liking. So that's up to you how long it takes you and really what you're trying to accomplish. Um, but anyways, that's, um, that's how you build a professional looking website uh, using WordPress. And I mean, you know, that again, that's a really, really sharp site, a really sharp theme. Highly recommend it. I mean, I, I can't get over how well they've done on that theme. Um, that almost, um, you know, that's one I'm going to start recommending to everyone because gosh, that's, they did a really good job. And I also like about it too, because look, they've got different formats. So if someone else, you know, watching this or taking this course sees this and they go with another one, that's fine. It's going to look different. I mean, you can change up the colors and stuff. Um, you know, that's, it's no big deal that it's, it's being used. So, um, it's kind of how it works. Great stuff though. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, but good stuff overall. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for using namehero.com.